Hello, my name is Lisa Copeland. I'm a pediatric cochlear implant audiologist at the Hearing Center. I actually always wanted to be a pediatrician, but I don't do well with blood. So then for a while I was going to be like a pharmacist or something like that. And audiology really just kind of fits all of my strengths and weaknesses. So I kind of found my niche in college. I chose my specialty audiology in general because my sister has a cochlear implant. So I kind of had a personal um, view into how it can help families and children who have hearing loss and how much it can change their lives. So I wanted to be a part of that for other people. We're on their team. You know, I feel like a lot of times people come and they're really nervous to see a provider or nervous that um, we track data logging with cochlear implant patients. So they're nervous that we're gonna be looking at that and policing that, but we're really on their team. So I think I would want them to know that I'm there for them and happy to see them. I think one of the things that really helped me, like having a sister with a cochlear implant, is that being part of the family, you realize how much the provider doesn't see, and you realize how much that the parent usually is right. So I really try as a provider to really listen to what they're saying, and really try to implement that instead of just kind of doing the same standard of care for everybody, because what works for one kid, especially with hearing loss, and especially with cochlear implants, doesn't work for the next kid, and so on and so forth. So I try to really get a general idea of what their life looks like and make recommendations that fit where they are instead of making them kind of fit this mold that they may just not fit. I do currently um, co-teach the cochlear implants class at UT. Um, so I really like working with graduate students and kind of seeing where they are and helping them develop their skills. Um, especially within cochlear implants. I think that that's really fun. I would like to continue that. I'm a volleyball coach. <laughs> um, I have a dog that I'm obsessed with. She's probably like 80% of my life outside of work. <laughs> 